Hey Chris. Yes, Craig. Sony is making a Last of Us movie. Yeah, I heard that, Craig. But I'm not convinced that we need one. No? No. Let's start with the important information. Let's start with the important information. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do it at CraigandChris.com. CraigandChris.com. Thank you. Yep. It'll bring you to our YouTube channel in which you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to follow this story about yes. The Last of Us mm -hmm. movie yes. and more of our awesome stories, stop yes. helping. No. Go to craigandchris.com forward slash flipboard. flipboard. Yes. Flipboard. Okay, that one was okay. Right here. Oh, okay. I'm cool. He did it. He did it. Okay. No, he Seamus. He did it. So this is more my story. Um, <laughs> Yours? Yeah, you didn't well, write my this. Topic. It was Kotaku. No, I don't care about that. <gasps> you don't care about Kotaku? This is inspired by the fact that they've announced a Last of Us movie. Mm-hmm. 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 And I kind of was going... I was hit with this, this mm -hmm. moment of... Why? I, that seems like a legitimate response to that question. Why? It'd be like somebody coming up to me and saying... We made an Indiana Jones video game. I'm like, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, but, okay. But it's not really... I guess I guess kind of work. That doesn't different. work. That is different. different. That is different. That doesn't my, work my, that way. My point is, why are video games aspiring to be movies? And do we as gamers care? Because personally, I'd rather play the game than go watch the Last of Us movie. Because, in my opinion, it had fine actors in it. It had a great story, and it was immersive, and it's better than a movie. You can't do better than Last of Us the game. I'm really trying to think you of a good example. In the role, I need a good analogy, but you can't because as it no, it's like it's no, no. I got it. It's like you coming to me and saying, "Hey, Craig, guess what? They're making a Last of Us movie." Yes. That's exactly what it's like. It is. Because we've really only recently gotten to the point where video games are becoming, if not the, cin or a cinematic art form, like a much, they're becoming a much better well, even if you cinematic don't say, platform. Even if you don't want to say better, it's at least different. And, and, what sure. to that, and it doesn't need to be a movie. Because it's meant to be experienced in this way. I wonder what our viewers I mean, think I, about I just, that. I don't think, I don't see a point. It's not like a book where that can take, like, some of them can take you like a month to read. So condensing it into a two-hour burst makes sense. Yeah, right. I get it. Right. Or it is cool to say, oh, that's not, exa well, that's book, not at all how I envisioned it. Don't, I, get, or, I get you on that. A book makes sense because there's nothing visual to a book. Yes. Right? You're reading words. So finding pictures associated with the words and turning it into like a short film or a film makes sense. Video games. Video games are purely visual. Are better than movies. Wow. Uh, well, at least to a certain degree. They're different. I'm rooting for the guy in the zombie movie. Whereas when I'm playing Joel in Last of Us, I'm the one running my ass off. True. Yeah, I'm feeling the tension because I don't want to get eaten. It's true. It's, it, I agree with that. So, I mean, you're losing that immersion factor watching the movie. They're not going to cover the finer points. They never do. Right, right. And right. this isn't like back in the day where it was like you take a 2D fighter, like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, and then add a story to it. Like, elaborate on it. These are these are thought out, very stories. well thought out stories. Actually, you know what kind of this reminds me of is, it, like you said, it's like, like the animated movies, for example. I think that's why those always turn out so well. Yeah. Because the 3D movies, they have to sit down and really think out every scene because the technology limits them, and they really have to spend real time making it look visually appealing and cinematic. Yeah. And as a result, the product ends up being like a million times better. Whereas with like film now, they can just produce a film in like two hours. So they don't have... The well, I'm demand not, I'm to not, make something great. I'm not going anti-film. I mean, there's there's a place where I love film. I'm studying. He is school. film. But to me, the goal of a movie was when you watch Die Hard, don't you go, "Oh man, I want to be John McClane," because that'd be fun. Yeah, you do. You miss all the details. I'm saying this is like a backwards evolution. Yeah, you're gonna miss. You're right. It is. It is a back because it's like. Well, I don't know. Is it because? Well, no, it is. There's a time because there's like, already a visual aspect to the movie. Sometimes you want to sit down and watch a movie. Obviously, I'm not saying get rid of movies. That'd be stupid. What I am saying is, if you want to see Last of Us, play it. I agree. I agree purely on the sense that I've played like games like Last of Us, and I've 
there's just so much to it you know like the depths the characters the interesting story a movie should be like if they were going to make a movie based on a video game I've got it should be a trailer. Okay. Basically, the movie should make you want to play the game. Yeah, here's a, it's like a two-hour trailer of the game. Or, because, um, because it's like there's too much Halo. awesome in Halo the Halo and some others have done like um, companion films. Okay. Or a lot of their tr- commercials for the game mm-hmm. will be like live action versions. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I got right. And, and a Halo movie that's general might not be terrible. Right. But like in a case of take like a, a, a classic Bioware game, in a two hour movie, are you going to feel the same way about Garrus versus, you know, at the end of the series, 80 hours of playing? No. No, I wouldn't. But. No. But. I could see a group of people who have no interests in video games maybe appreciating the universe. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm trying playing devil's advocate. Here. No, I, I hear you. I'm playing devil's advocate here. But I wonder if some of our viewers want, would point out at viewers. least some of the viewers would point out that's why they watch Let's Plays. Is they're not gamers but they'd still like to experience it in that form. And we do Let's Plays. And we're going to be starting Rise soon. Yes. And we're finishing up Left 4 Dead. That, that's a fun one. You guys will yeah. like how that ends, I think. But, I mean, that's just... I mean, at the end, Last of Us is unique as a game. Uh-huh. You know, the games... The, the 10,000 zombie games are, are unique as games. Yeah. But throw them up in a movie, and there's not much else you can do with it. No. It's just going to be another... No. You know... I think I, I'm, I'm pretty much on board with you on this. I wonder what I wonder what the audience thinks, though. I wonder if because like I can see a group of people saying that yeah, I go see the movie, right? But I just I, I'm not I've never been interested in gaming, but I think the idea is interesting. Yeah. So they'd rather sit down and watch a two hour movie to kind of get the the well, watered I, down experience. I guess my my opinion is who who's actually excited for this? Are gamers actually excited for this, or are normal people who don't? I don't. Play I don't think. I don't people. think gamers would even be excited about. Well, I'm sure there's like, some you, people. Like you, are, you're a gamer. They're like sitting there going, "Why? Why? 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 Why?" why? Well, especially a game like Last of Us is an unfair comparison. Because Last of Us, the game itself is a like ten to twenty hour movie. It's about ten, twelve. That's what I mean. It's like a, it's a movie. The game itself is a film. Well, that's just it. It's like it's what? got it's got cinematic direction. It's got artwork. It's got it's got costume design. It's got it, character depth. It's a movie. It's scripted. I would like. To, uh, so dude, basically, dude. I say, hey, you know what? We're taking a twelve hour movie and we're making it into a movie. Seriously, do do better than any of the Uncharted as a movie. Because I've already played the movies, all three of them. Yeah, Uncharted is amazing. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But it's like, it's, I yeah, mean, I don't know how you, I, I think I get that. You know what it is? I got it. I got it. I got the perfect analogy. Okay. It took me all episode to figure it out. It's like somebody coming up to me and saying, hey, Craig, guess what? I'm like, what? What, dude? And then I'm going, I'm going to take this book that's this big, and I'm going to make it this big. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to tell a story like Lord of the Rings, and I'm going to make it, I'm going to tell it in this much rather than this much. And, you know, something's got to get lost in that equation. It's already a movie. Okay, but yeah, but what I'm saying is is that that what you just said doesn't appeal to a gamer. No, well, just like this wouldn't appeal to a book reader. Yeah. But, I mean, at least with the book, you get a visualization of it. Now, usually it's a disappointment. I'm not going to say otherwise. But, um, no, I meant, I meant that the, the, the guy would be pitching that I'm going to release a smaller book of the same book. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So that's like it's so like it's like we got we got the Lord of the Rings, which is this big. But check it out. This summer we're releasing Lord of the Rings with 400 pages instead. Oh, I thought you were saying that. Those are cutting out all the all the all the, the fun. movie was the compressed version. No, you're saying it's a compressed book. No, no, no. no, no. That. That's basically what they're doing. Because so it's like we have a 20 hour movie that's amazing yeah. called Last of Us, which is a game. Yeah. Because they're they're so visually similar. Yeah. You have your actor. You have your plot. You have your. I mean, they play like a movie. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's video games are have become an evolution of movies. I I, uh, I actually I believe that that's true. I think to it's, go backwards doesn't make sense to me. Uh, what do you think, Internet? It's like they said that there was a Mass Effect movie. Give me a break. 
not gonna have not gonna be that good. just doesn't make sense because at least last of us doesn't really have story adjustments and decisions that make differences La- mass effect movies just an all-around horrible idea yeah because mine's different than yours different yeah than everybody's yours. is different that's just stupid so that's just stupid that's really the big problem is when you go to see a movie based on bioware you're no. getting some bio else's. arts you're getting someone else's interpretation of, of the game versus yours so you're a purist in that respect. Um, I just don't. I don't see the purpose. Yeah. I, I think if I want to see a Last of Us movie, I'm you know what it is. Game. It's a money grab. Probably. Where's your wallet? Well, I don't want to say. I, I, I'm sure their intentions are pure. I'm just saying that. We no, don't, they're not. We don't need their it. intentions I are don't. pure. And on that note, I don't need it. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay. Just gonna play like I'm the naive one here. <laughs> Fine. Their intentions are pure. Fine. Not even close. Thanks, guys.